Okay, hello, how are you? Are you happy, sad, angry? Okay, I hope you are fine. How are you, third year? Okay, well, today is Monday, the 11th of May, yes, okay, and it's a cloudy day, yes, okay, yes, okay. It's a cloudy day, yes, and a bit windy. It's windy. It is windy. Well, pay attention. Today we have to um, check pages 28, 29, 30 and 31 from the activity book. We are going to see the mistakes from the oral task. Yes, from the videos. Yes, okay. Um, then we are going to work on pages 50, 51, 52, 53 and 56. From the class book, you are going to uh, take a uh, schoolwork, yes, pages 32, exercise 1 and 4, 3 and 4, no hacer el ejercicio 3, page, uh, page 35, exercises 1 and 2, and then you have the writing, yes, okay, you have the writing story, choose any of the ideas on exercise 7 and 8 from page 52, from the class book, mass words, one day, after, many days, 50 days, later, when, in the end, luckily, you have to send this writer, a uh, writing, yes, uh, it must have a hundred words, yes, okay, this writing, uh, to the Google Classroom, yes, fecha de entrega, las dos fechas tienen que estar puestas, 11 de 3 para el 13 de 5, en formato PDF, yes, ok, no otro formato porque no lo puedo corregir, te lo tengo que devolver, que tu um, archivo tenga tu nombre, por favor, que diga, um, um, Rodri, uh, Narration, está, yes, ok, Good, so let's go to uh, check the pages first, pages 28, 29, 30 and 31 from the activity book. Are you there? Good, uh, how was your weekend? Yes, did you do many things at home? Yes, okay. Well, number one, take risks. Yes, do things that could be dangerous is to take risks. Number two, excited things. Yes, highlight with a highlighter. Subrayala esas palabras, por favor. Yes. Ok, taran, taran, todas subrayadas. Yes, ok. All of them underlined. Take breaks. Number 2, adventure. Number 3, unsafe is dangerous. Uh, the thing that needed the most hard work and effort is my biggest achievement. Number 5, a big challenge. Something that is, that is really difficult to do. Uh, number 6, I want to achieve is a, something that you want to achieve is an ambition. And number 7, math is crazy. Ok. Number two, visited, arrived, dried, stayed, jogged, lived, studied, and moved. Yes? Number three, was born. Number four, studied. Number three, become. Number four, went. Number five, started. Number six, survived. Number seven, grew up. Number eight, played. Number nine, learned. And number ten, joined. Join. Okay? Okay, let's go to page 29. Page 29. Yes? Okay, 20, 20, 20, 29. Taran, taran. Exercise 4. Okay, 1 false, true false, 3 true, 4 false, 5 true, 6 false, 7 uh, false, and 8 true. 5. Where were you? Did you grow up? Did you study at university? Did you learn? When did you join? And when did you start? Acordate que está W, auxiliar, sujeto, verbo en infinitivo. Porque está el did. Ok? Que es el auxiliar. Exercise 6. Bit. Bought. Hit. Did. Set. Went. Fought. Brought. And met. Ok? Page 30, page 30, okay? So we have friendly, two, patient, three, positive, uh, four, kind, five, hardworking, 
six intelligent and seven experienced. Yes? Okay? Is it clear? So across you have patient, hardworking, intelligent, experienced. Number two. And number down. Friendly, three, positive and four kind. Exercise three. One E, two B, three D, four A, five C and E, six B and E, seven B, eight B and E. Okay? Is it clear? Y ahí me paro un ratito. Okay. So I want you to, um, I want you to tell me if the adjective I'm going to say is positive or negative. I want you to say at home. Okay? Is it clear? Well, so we have friendly. Positive. Patient. Positive. How working? Positive. Kind. Positive. Uh, intelligent. Okay, positive. And experienced, positive. Okay? Well, acordate. Comienzo. Yes? Okay. Uh, annoying. Negative. Okay. Uh, funny. Positive. Uh, beautiful. Positive. How working? Positive. Good. Interesting. Okay. Positive. Uh, embarrassed. Negative. Uh, rude. Negative. Uh, materialistic. Mm -hmm. Negative. Bossy. Negative. Okay. Um, delicious. Yes. Positive. Uh, jealous. Negative. Yes. Okay. Disloyal. Negative. Okay. Um, Bossy, ya dijimos, ¿no? Negative. Ok, good. Well, um, let's go to page 31. Four, was changing. Remember the past continuous. When I was climbing, when I was talking on the phone, my mother interrupted me. Yes, ok. The combination was doing something that is in process and then an activity that interrupts. Uh, the activity in the past continuous is in past simple, okay? Um, remember when you said the scene, yes, in a story, you use past continuous. It was snowing, it was, uh, my sister was drinking a cup of tea, I was listening to music in my bathroom when the door uh, opened mysteriously. For example, yes, yeah? you said the same in the story, in a story, okay? Was changing, was flying, were climbing, and was sailing. Yes, yeah? okay? Number five, yes, yeah? okay? The sun was shining and people were sunbathing on the beach. Yes, yeah? the phone was ringing, but I was leaving the house, so I didn't answer it. Three, we weren't studying when the teacher walked in. Four, we were walking past the building when the fire started. Five, she wasn't thinking about the exam results when the envelope arrived. Six, it wasn't shining so we went for a picnic. Yes, so I was da -da 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 doing my homework when it started to rain. Is it clear? All right, number um, six, did you see? Two, were following. Three, saw. Four, didn't hear. Five, was listening. Six, did you have? Seven, didn't arrive. Eight, were you waiting? Yes? Seven, ojo, ojo ahí, eh? A word with four. Subrayala, por favor, a todas, eh? Las palabras con four. Are you ready? Highlight it, please. Pay attention. Exercise seven, the words must be highlighted, okay? Dale. Fell in love. Fell in love with. Did you, uh, have you ever fallen in love with your best friend? Is it clear? Fell by 3%. Fell by, yes, okay. Two. Fell by 3%. Ay, perdón, siete. Sorry, ya me fui al lado abajo. Ok, wait. 1C. Yes. 2B. 
sorry. 3E, 4A and 5D. Estaba con la actividad abajo. Ok, 1C, 2B, 3E, 4A and 5D. Sorry, ok, I was just concentrating on uh, exercise 8. Ok, dale, ahora sí. I met my husband in 1980, 1998 and we fell in love. por favor. Ok. Highlight them. Ok. Two. Fell by. The cost, of, the cost of petrol fell by. Number three. My leg hurts. I fell off. Caerte. Uh, we all fall asleep. Ok. Quedarse dormido. Yes. Enamorarse. Quedarse dormido. Caerse. Y caer de el sistema porcentaje. Yes. Ok. The petrol. The cost of petrol fell. By 3%. Ok. That's all from the activity book. Remember to study positive. Hacete una lista en casa. Yo me hice una listita. Yes. The positive and negative adjectives. Yes. Positive and negative aspect. Eh, Adjectives from the unit, okay? So let's go. I want you to put the date on pages 50, 51, 52, 53, and 56, okay? Put the date in all the pages, all right? Well, did you put the date? 50, 51, 52, 53, and 56, okay? Well, Guille, um, muy bien la edición de ese video. Me encantó, me encantó. Realmente está buenísimo. Y es todo cómo está organizado, cómo está editado. Uh, I really like it. Yes, okay. Todos los que eh, quieran, ahora no voy a poner para no perder tiempo porque la clase es bastante larga. Eh, todos los que quieran ver el video de Guille está compartido en el Facebook. Otra cosa, eh, todos los que quieran compartir sus videos, los pueden compartir. Porque yo te puse, can I share it? Vos poneme sí, Tiche, podés compartirlo. Pero el tema es el siguiente. Ah, José, te devolví el tuyo porque no necesito escrito. Eh. Necesito que cuando te mejores me pases el video oral. O si no, directamente el próximo oral. Pero como quiero ver este oral, entonces cuando te mejores de ronco espasmo, me pasas tu video. ¿Sí? Eh, porque quiero corregir el oral task, ¿yes? Eh, quiero que me ayuden a compartirlos. Una vez que los videos están corregidos, el que quiere lo puede compartir en el Facebook del Instituto Reino Unido, ¿sí? Pido que lo compartan, ¿sí? Porque no me da tiempo de compartirlos a todos, ¿sí? Porque estamos con mucho trabajo nosotros, ¿sí? ¿Está? Así que eh, quiero que los compartan si es que pueden, ¿sí? Si es que quieren, mejor dicho, ¿sí? ¿Está? Yo sé que eh, Benicio ya lo compartió, ¿sí? Así que el resto lo puede compartir, ¿sí? Ok. Uh, well, Guille, the culture of Argentina. Yes. Convenient, reliable, comfortable. Yes, creo que era comfortable, no me acuerdo, ¿sí? ¿okay? ok. La, porque no entiendo acá mi letra, ahora estoy peor que mis alumnos. Ok. First, convenient, reliable, la. ¿Viste que vos querías poner eh, reírte hasta no dar más? ¿Yes? Eso es lo que pusiste, quisiste pues, poner. Y es así. Laughing out loud. ¿Yes? Laughing out loud. ¿Yes? Laughing out loud. ¿Sí? Lo vas a ver también cuando chatean con otros chicos que son... Se usa mucho eso en los chats, ¿yes? ¿Ok? Eso quería ponerse de reírte hasta no dar más, era lo que quisiste poner, ¿yes? ¿Ok? Bueno, well, um... Seven minutes. ¿Yes? Um, sculptures, sculptures, sculptures. Uh, birds fre frequent it. Yes. Ok. Um, acordate. Desert es desierto. Desert. Y dessert era lo que vos necesitabas. Acordate. Desert and dessert. Yes. Uh, you can have so much fun. O oh, it's so funny. Yes. Ok. Uh, served. 
served and useful. Yes, okay. Wait a minute. La idea es que vayan corrigiendo sus errores, that you correct your mistakes, and um, you get better, yes? Y justo me contestaste, eh, Guille, que estoy viendo recién ahora, y practice, que, me, que me, siempre me contesta a ella, y me pone, voy a practicar más tal cosa, tal otra cosa. Acordate, practice con C es práctica. ¿Sí? Y practice with S es el verbo. Este es el verbo y este es el sustantivo. Practicar. I'm going to practice con S. ¿Está? Justo que corregí. La, la notita que me dejaste. Uh, well, Rodri, if you visit, I will give you uh, some advice. Buy bus, buy taxi, uh, Comfortable, reliable, characterized. ¿Por qué si te puse? Es, es caracterizada por. Si no te sale esa palabra, es characteristics, characterized. Yes, okay. Famous for. Le podías poner famous for. Y yo si no te buscas esa palabra así. ¿Sí? Traten de hacer con su palabra, chicos. No vayan al, 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 al traductor y eso porque eh, se complica la vida. ¿eh? ¿Yes? A veces no ayuda. Wait a minute. Characterize. 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 Yeah. A ver, ¿qué esta No sé cómo decir. Entonces, bueno, ya que lo querés usar. Characterize. Characterize. Yes, ok. Characterize. Characterize. Entonces, es más complicada. No quiere decir que no la puedas usar. Yo hubiese usado ahí, Formosa is famous for. Chao. For its birds, for its riverside, for its kind people. Yes, por su. Acuérdate que por su río, por su costanera, ¿sí? ¿Yes? Y acordate, esto es lo que quiero que haga, que digo que busquen el diccionario online. Characterize, characterize. Characterize, ¿ok? Bueno, um, muy bien, los nuevos comparativos, Rodri, te reconcentraste. De a poquito la idea es que te vayas poniendo menos nervioso para charlar, ¿sí? ¿Yes? Relájate, porque si vos te pones nervioso, se te van a, uh, los músculos se te van a poner tensos y vas a empezar a... Peor. Así que, una vez, once you relax, the oral is going to be better. ¿Yes? Igual, este estuvo mejor que el otro. ¿Yes? Porque vos sos muy... Eh, en la gramática, ¿sí? La gramática no te cuesta. La gramática la tenés bien afianzada. Entonces, no te tiene por qué costar la parte de, eh, del oral. Así que es cuestión de relajarse, si te da vergüenza o lo que sea. Es para todos este tip. Este tip, ¿eh? ¿Está? Así que relajo, se me van a relajar los músculos, pero hay algunos que se relajan mucho también, ¿eh? Y a relajarse mucho, creo a Rodri, a vos decime si, sí, teacher, tenés razón o no. I think what happens to you, to you is that you don't want to make mistakes, so you concentrate a lot on the grammar and then uh, you, uh, um, be, you uh, start uh, to be uh, nervous, ¿ok? Entonces... Me concentro en la gramática, pero me relajo un poquitito. Total, yo sé que va a estar bien. Practico antes. No es que ¡tring! me grabo y me salga como me salga. ¿Y es? Tengo que organizar más o menos lo que voy a decir. ¿Ok? Bueno. Uh, Entre Ríos is famous for its beaches. Ahí lo hubiese puesto eso yo. Is famous for its... Ta, ta, ta. Y te corregiste la pronunciación de River. Muy bien, porque me estaban pronunciando algunos casi me quería morir. River, ¿eh? Ojo, River. Maxi, exercises takes... Uh, takes, la S, driving license, es, eh, 
el busco en el diccionario, es ¿eh? una cosita que sí, licencia de conducir, driving license, ¿eh? uh, Ford más ING, popular to use. Acuérdate que cada vez, acuérdense que cada vez que nosotros tenemos un uh, verbo, is beautiful to be, she is beautiful to be a model, uh, it's popular to use, ¿yes? Para usar, it's dangerous to use, va a ir el verbo en infinitivo, ¿está? To más infinitivo. Mia, first convenient paradise. ¿Qué les cuesta hacer esto, chicos? A ver. Yo voy y pongo acá. Paradise. Paradise. Pronunciation. Y hay algunos que ya se bajaron el diccionario, inclusive. ¿Sí? Entonces pones ahí. Paradise. Paradise. Eso es lo que tienen que acostumbrarse a hacer, ¿y es? Reliable, the, the uh, paradise, convenient, first, yes, it isn't convenient. They can um, bite you, yes, much funnier, yes, es el much funnier, es uno de los temas que estamos practicando. Spend a good time, yes, Cami, interesting, it's better than, no lo edites tanto, Camila, al... La idea es que no lo editen tanto a los videos, porque la idea es que me salga todo fluido. Ustedes ven que mis videos, a no ser que yo me olvide algo, no están editados. Ay, no me olvidé tal cosa de la clase. Ay, no me olvidé tal cosa. ¿Sí? Entonces, la idea es que yo me estudio antes de venir a dar clases, que sé yo estudio, veo mi plan. ¿Sí? No es que yo me presento y doy lo que rayen. ¿Está? ¿Está? Entonces, esa es la idea. Practicate antes, fíjate qué palabra vas a usar, qué cosas vas a organizar. Y no edites tanto el video, porque si no me pierdo de ver realmente la fluidez de cada alumno. ¿Se entiende? Interesting, it's better than walking, better to use, lo mismo que dije antes, de people, <coughs> perdón, they, uh, where you are going to eat, if you visit, no, if you visit it, if you visit. Benicio, muy bien la edición también, las, las, las pictures que iban apare apareciendo arriba, come to different places, la S final, by many transports, Yes, for example, from Germany, uh, pronunciation, arrive, the taxi, no, taxis, do it on foot, touristic places, near, wait for, I wait you, no, I wait for you, yes, or I hope you enjoy, yes, espero que disfrutes, yes, okay, that's all, let's go to the pages very quickly, 50, 51, 52 and 53, and 53 and 56, okay, well, um, param, param. Tranquilamente van a poder trabajar en un lugar donde tengan que editar videos. Va, eh, Benicio, vas a poder trabajar también en un, en, en un lugar de, ¿cómo es que se dice? De turismo, información al turista. Así que que te vayan contratando. Se están entrenando para el futuro. ¿Yes? Así que acostumbren a hacer las cosas bien. Hello. Miren. Estoy en Buenos Aires, Argentina. Aquí, I will help you. Third, you should take an Uber because it is a comfortable as taking a taxi, but it is a bit more convenient and much more conventional. But if you take a taxi, it is a lot less reliable. You should go to the Delta Column. Then you can drive until you turn it more. Learn much more about the Argentine culture Tell you, yes, ahí está. Argenti you can laugh out loud. Vendría a ser lo que te corregí. Argentinian. Yes, ok. Bueno, todas las correcciones y miramos. You should visit the complete tango. Then you start with the tango class. Then filmed by three class dinner week and open bar. Where you watch a complete tango show. You should go to a standard class. 
It feels a comedy club with professional culture. They are so much fun. You should be present in Museo Nacional de Bellas Artes. They are very it is a national museum. It is an excellent of the best. It has a collection of paintings, engravings, and sculptures that cover the history of all country. You should know the local Panero. It is an ideal place to have a day out with crowds, plants, and birds of different types, with a simple and beautiful lake. You should go shopping in the Patrimonio Ridge. It is a shopping center in the Retiro neighborhood, where different events are is one of the most frequented to earth. Frequented. You should eat operational food, so you have to go to La Cocina. There is empanadas or roast meat, lemon salad, okra, pasta, pizza, wine, artisan beers, etc. And dessert, the best artisan ice creams. You should drink the beer and sweet water. And then drink the terere. It is the same as the water that would call water. Okay, that was everything. I hope it had something to help you in the city. Bye. Okay, did you like it? And the terere they are. Yes, I really like it. Me van a decir, ay, teacher, pero ella está leyendo todo. Están organizadas las ideas. Sí. Eh, esto ya se los dejo a, al criterio de cada uno, porque yo en la casa de ustedes no estoy controlándoles si están leyendo, si están bajaron de, de qué sé yo, está. Así que la idea es esto, que lo vaya, pero la edición está muy buena, el material está muy bueno. Hay gente que no quiere aparecer, no es el caso de Guille porque ella aparece, pero hay gente que no quiere aparecer, entonces lo va haciendo, eh, ¿cómo es que se dice? De manera... Eh, Así, con ediciones. Pero la idea es que te vaya saliendo todo fluido. Yes, ok. So let's go to the pages very quickly. Yes, pages 50, 51, yes, 52, 53, and 56. Ok. I want you to do exercise from page 50, 2, 3, 4, 7, and highlight the chart. Yes, ok. Okay, good. Two, three, four, seven. And highlight the chart, okay? Good, good, good. Perdone que me cruce en la pantalla, pero estoy chequeando. Yes, you do it. Come on. crosswords, puzzles, uh, do you play video games, computer games every, every week? Yes, how often do you play video games? Uh, how often do you do puzzles, crosswords, quizzes? Yes, I want you to think about this and t think about it and tell me if you like or if you don't like doing quizzes and everything. Yes, okay? Good, what happened with this? Well, I have to show you uh, another projection. Yeah. Okay. 
fíjate si se, si se desconectó el, el, este proyecto. ¿Se apagó? Mm. Yeah, I will uh, wait for me, yes, because I will uh, solve the technical problem, yes, okay? Exercise 3, yes, okay, are you there? Remember to pause the video, do the activities and then listen to the answer, yes, okay, thanks God. Nothing happened, yes, there is a TDD there. <laughs> yes, okay. Good. Well, uh, number three, are you there? Yes, 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 okay. Why do you think people like taking these types of challenge? Yes, okay. Number two, are you there, number two? Okay. Topics two, three, four, and six. No, 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 wait. Quiero, eso no está listado, yes? I was in another uh, paper. Yes, okay, good. What? You were saying, what, teacher? Okay, sorry, there we are. Okay, well, um, yes, here we are. Good. Exercise three. They are fun, they make you think, they stop you thinking about other things, work, uh, problems, stress. When you solve them, you feel good, they pass uh, the time, uh, so they are useful when waiting or on train journeys, yes? Some people think they are good for the brain, yes? So if you haven't tried, you can try doing puzzles, uh, quizzes, Yes, okay, uh, crosswords and everything, yes, okay. I want you to do exercise um, four, okay? Number one, true, number two, false. Remember to pause the video, do the activities and then listen to the answers. Four true, five false, six false, okay? Good, and then highlight the chart, okay? Verb and nouns, okay? Some words have a verb, a form, and a noun form. Sometimes, blah, blah, blah. Challenge, challenge is the same. Highlight them, please. Okay? Achieve, achievement, yes? Okay, so achieve is the verb, yes? And achievement is the noun, okay? Is, is it clear? Yes? Okay, good. Well, uh, memory, memorize, for example, okay? Is it clear? Yes, um, solve, solution, yes, okay, some of them are the same, but some change, yes, so we're going to practice this, this is word building, do you highlight the chart, okay, highlight the chart, and complete it please, okay, good, there we are, good, solve, two, answer, three, play, four, memory, five, study, six, test, seven, score, Yes, okay, good. And in the text, I want you to highlight uh, in line, on line 15, improve, and on line 23, 22, mental skill. Yes, 3D, yes, and geometrical, geometry, perdón, okay, good. Have you ever done this puzzle, this, um, Cube, the Rubik, yes, yes or no? I have tried, uh, I tried a long time ago when I was 15, 14 more or less, but it was very difficult for me, yes. My, my, my brother, my two brothers, I think they could solve the, um, the cube, yes, but I couldn't, yes, okay, you have to be very concentrated, um, you have to, um, um do it but not uh you do it quietly calmly calmly yes okay uh when to well to focus on the colors there is a there is um a trick there yes there is a trick you must find the trick yes it is good for your mind also yes uh for the skills yes good well, I want you to go to page 52, 53, yes, and then we are going to go to 56, yes, but 52 and 53, yes. Two, 
true stories, yes? Okay, do you ever go camping at weekends or on holiday? So this is the time for you to talk if you ever go camping. Yes, I hardly ever go camping uh, because I like sharing a moment with nature, but the thing I don't like are um, the mosquitoes, yeah? And nowadays it's very dangerous because of the Aris Aegypti, yeah? So, we have to be careful because of the dengue. Yes, but uh, sharing a moment with nature and eating outside, barbecue and everything, is very nice to share with family, friends, uh, breathe the air and everything. Yes, but I don't, I don't like mosquitoes. Yes, okay? So I want you to talk about this at home for two minutes about uh, going camping, if you ever go, how often you go. Yes, and everything as we are camping. If you like it or not, when you go, how often do you go, uh, what things you take for the camping, who do you go with when you go camping, with friends, with family, uh, which one do you prefer? Yes, going with friends or family or both. Yes, okay. Yes, so we're going to do exercise two, three, that is listening. You are going to highlight the chart. Yes, uh, telling a story. Because you have all the sequences when talking about a story. I'm going to um, show you a story today, an example on the board. Yes, okay. So uh, be prepared because we are going to uh, do that. Yes, yes, yes. We go here. I'm in the listening. You wait for me now. Mm -hmm. There we are. Read first. Remember, you have to read. While you are waiting, yes, you have to read everything. Yes, two and three. While I'm looking for the track. Track 33. So you're going to listen to two friends talking about camping trip, a camping trip. You have to answer the questions and in exercise three, you have to listen again and complete the conversation. All right. Is it clear? And then we're going to see uh, the expression for telling a story and you have to match the expressions from one to nine to the headings from A to D. Is it clear? Yes. Then we're going to, um, well, I'm going to show you the sequences of story. Yes. And uh, you have to tell a story of a terrible journey to work. You were cycling and it started raining, a car hit your bike, you were hurt, the driver was very nice, he owns a bicycle shop, yes. Um, he gave you a new bike, it's much better than the old one, okay. So you're going to have these ideas and at home you have to say, uh, tell a story, okay, using these prompts, yes, uh, because the next video will be a story. I'm going to give you the uh, mass words and you are going to uh, use these mass words for the next video, yes, it will be tell a story, yes, an amazing story, not a boring story, okay. You went hiking with a friend in the mountain, it started snowing, you went back towards the town, you passed a large house with the lights on, the people in the house invited you in. Yes, then uh, they made you dinner and you stayed the night, the next day the sun was shining, you reached, uh, you reached the top of the mountain. These are ideas. At home you have to tell now for three minutes a story. Yes, but uh, remember we are going to, I'm going to show you the sequences in the story, the beginning, yes, okay, um, the body and the ending, yes, okay, well, and the words you have to introduce for making your story more attractive to the reader. Is it clear? All right, listening. Unit 4D. Hi, Mark, how was your camping? Sorry, put seven and eight, video, three minutes, idea. Quiero que le pongan así. Yes, exercises seven and eight, video, yes, video ideas. Is it clear? Okay. Then listen it now. Unit 4D. Hi, Mark. How was your camping trip? It was great in the end. 
But we had a terrible time at the beginning. Why? First, we left the house late. And then, after only half an hour, the car broke down. Oh no! What did you do? Fortunately, there was a garage nearby, and the mechanic fixed the problem. But when we arrived at the forest, it was getting dark. After we drove around for about an hour, we finally found the campsite, but it was completely dark by then, and it was raining. Really? So what happened? We found a nice warm hotel down the road. That was lucky. Yes, it was a great hotel, and in the end, we stayed there for the whole weekend. Sounds great. Okay, so then you have to listen again and complete the conversation. Now is the time that you will pause the video, listen again, rewind it, listen again, and do exercise three. I will dictate the answers for exercises two and three, all right? Two and three. Good. It was terrible. Late. It broke down. A mechanic. Five, it was dark and it was raining. To a nice hotel down the road. Exercise three. First, what did you do? Fortunately, when, five, after, six, finally, seven, what happened, eight, in the end, and nine, sounds great, okay? Exercise, that's all from there. Let's go to 4E. The story, or, well, first of all, telling a story, yes? Okay, I will, uh, we go to 4E first. And then I'm going to show you a story. I'm going to show you the, the sequences and the words you can add to your story to make it more attractive, yes, for the reader. Okay, so let's go to exercise one. Yes, do exercise one. Okay, two, three. And uh, exercise six is the homework, yes, okay? We write a story uh, of a hundred words, yes? Between 80 and a hundred words, yes? Be careful, between 80 and a hundred words, yes? Okay, so you will do one, two, three, and exercise six, that is the homework, yes? Okay, good. All right, there we are. Uh, what is uh, an interesting story in the news at the moment? Is it good news or bad news nowadays? Well, bad news. All the news are about the COVID, yes, the pandemic we are having and we are suffering. Yes, so um, I must say that uh, at the moment, bad news, okay? We are having bad news, okay? Number two, stories in the news answer uh, some or all of these questions with the short story and answer the question. So I want you to read it, pause the video, and then I give you the answers, okay? 50 day lost at the sea. Yes? Good. Pause the video. Good. Well, now uh, I want you to uh, highlight these words in this uh, story, in this narration. One day, after many days, 50 days later, later, and in the end. Yes? Okay, good. Number one, the island, the island of Atafu in the Pacific Ocean. Two, the sun was shining. Three teenage boys were there. They were fishing. Three, they didn't come home in the evening and nobody could find them. Four, some fishermen found a boat with uh, the boys in it. The fishermen were sailing in the ocean. The boys were in the boat. They were living in, living on Yes, living on fish and rainwater. Five, happy, the boys were alive and well. Exercise three, one D, two A, three B, four E and five C. Yes, okay, good. So you have to write a story in about, that is the homework, write a story in about 80 and a uh, 100 words, yes. Okay. So pay attention. Yes, I will show you um, an example of uh, a story. Uh, 
Um, then we are going to go to the um, the last page, 56. That is the review. But first of all, I want you to I want you to know. Uh, Yes, okay. The title, the introduction, the beginning of the story, the middle, event, middle events, the end of the story. Okay? Well, whenever you write a story, uh, you have to start with at the beginning, then, next, why. And whenever you use, uh, you set the scene, you can use past continuous. The sun was shining. My sister was drinking a cup of tea in her bedroom. I was looking through the window when I saw a strange man, yes, looking outside the house. He was wearing a very, very old suit. Yes, he was having, he was handing a bag. Yes, he didn't look uh, very young. He look old, yes, and you know, when you set the scene, pass continue. Presta attention, eh? Set the scene, pass continue, okay? Well, uh, and then you have, uh, luckily, yes, unfortunately, nobody could see him. The only person that could see him was the person that is talking to you, Ruth. Ruth is my name. I live next to a very beautiful white house surrounded by trees in the San Miguel neighborhood. Yes, do you understand? Um, well, then um, in the when you uh, tell the other part of the story, you have to say what did you do, what happened. Yes, I was thinking about more connectors. Yes, okay. So the title: mashed potato. Yes, pizza. Uh, my grandpa, the introduction, my, uh, my grandpa always tells me that people who laugh, laugh at their own mistake will get everybody else to laugh along with them. Yesterday, I learned that he is right. Yes, or he was right. Yeah. Okay? Acordate, said the same, esta es esta historia, yes? But you said the same. I remember one day, when I was sitting on my sofa, I was listening to the birds singing, yes, when my mother shouted in the kitchen. She never shouts, but that day she screamed. I remember I ran very quickly, yes, okay? You said the scene with Pascal Tien. The beginning of the story, Yes, acordate, usa sangría para separar los párrafos. Yes, it's very important. No quiero poner a nadie más sangría, 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 because this is third year. And remember you have, I have taught you that you have to use sangría to separate paragraphs in third grade, second grade, and now it's third year. Yes, so pay attention. Yes. ¿Vieron cómo está la sangría acá? Sangría acá, sangría acá. Yes, y después sigue la línea. Sigue la línea, no es que... Vos escribís abajo de la sangría, sino que sigue donde comienza la página, la línea, pero deja sangría. ¿yes? Contás el body, qué te pasó, ¿yes? los events, ¿yes? okay, beginning of the story, middle events, ¿yes? and then the end. ¿yes? I look, and you can put, for example, suddenly, at that moment, while, ¿yes? and then in the end, Yes, she was laughing too. Yes, Martin smiled and ta 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 ta. Yes, I remember that that day was the most important in my life. For the conclusion there, I never really believed my grandpa, my grandpa, until I saw my friends laugh, 
laughing with me. The laughing made me feel good instead of clumsy. Yes, do you understand? Entonces, cerrar con una conclusión. Y siempre los párrafos, introduction, body and ending, tienen que estar separados por la sangría. Es lo que me va a indicar el párrafo. No se deja renglones, no se separa con asterisco ni nada. Pay attention there. Ok, ¿es clear? Ok, remember to write a very nice story. Espero historias re linda. Entre 80, between 80 and 100 words. Yes, ok. So concentrate. Te voy a poner acá en la foto pizarra. Yes, así que eh, te puse 100 words, te pongo between 80 and 100. Yes, ok. No más, no menos. Ok, between 80 and 100 words. Yes. Ok, let's do exercise 1 from page 56, review, acordate que la clase que viene tendremos revisión de la unidad 4 el día 13, ok, is it clear? Study please all unit 4, yes, ok, vocabulary, grammar, ok, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 and 6, ok, are you there? Now is the time that you do the exercises, uh, pause the video and then I will, um, you list, then listen to the answers, ok, good. Good, okay, number one, crossed, started, present, past simple, past continuous, ojo, eh, arrived, traveled, ojo cuando escribís la, um, the story, combina los, pa, eh, los pasados, pasado continuous, set the scene, sí, con el past continuous, como te enseñé, así que quiero ver que haya eso, eh, was, broke, stopped, had, didn't work, didn't have, was born, didn't begin. Number two. Acordate, W auxiliar sujeto y verbo. Yes, how did he cross the Atlantic Ocean? Two. How long did it did it take or did he take to cross the ocean? Three. How far did he travel? Four. Did he have any challenges? Acá estás practicando que W auxiliar sujeto y verbo. Okay, number three. One D. Number three, sorry, okay? Uh, what were the personal qualities of, well, this is private, yes? Because you have to decide, is your opinion, why do you think people like uh, Alexander take risks and give themselves challenges? You have to think, it's your opinion. Why do you think people like him? Uh, what qualities, yes? What were the personal qualities of him, okay? Good, exercise four. In the evening, after many days, 50 days later, in the end, in the end, the main character of my story died accidentally. Vos podés contar una historia o todo en presente o todo en pasado. Esta historia, yo quiero que me la cuentes en pasado, porque voy a evaluar qué cosa, el uso de tiempos, past simple, past continuous, past continuous and past simple. De, de, la unión entre los dos, ¿eh? ¿Cómo complementamos? ¿Yes? ¿Ok? Good. Uh, number four. Was shining. Took off. Were taken. Taking. Was. Was talking. Reached. Opened. Was jumping. Number five. Vocabulary. Ojo, vocabulary, adverbio, adjetivo, positive and negative ad adjective. Patient. Experienced. Kind. Positive. Intelligent and challenging. Yes, ok. Exercise 6. Ok. At the beginning it was cloudy as they started to climb. Why? Usame why también en la historia. They were top, top walking. Uh, they got lost. Oh no, why? It started raining. The weather was terrible. What happened? Luckily, they found a cave and they um, lit fire. In the morning, they saw a helicopter, really? And it rescued them, ¿ok? Bueno, acordate, historia, quiero que me uses en esta historia, one day, one day after, many days, 50 days later, when in the end, luckily. Hacete el brainstorming, organiza cómo va a ser tu introduction, cómo, qué va a haber en el body, y cómo vas a hacer la conclusión, el ending, ¿yes? ¿ok? In the end, we all died. Okay, do you understand? Said the thing, it was a very cloudy day, the birds were flying, 
My sister over there was drinking a cup of tea, yes. Okay, my parents were working outside, so I was alone at home. Yes, is it clear? Good. Well, see you next class. Uh, study, please, for the revision. Uh, this is the story between 80 and 100 words. Uh, activity book pages 32, 35. Yes, remember, no hacer el ejercicio 3 de la página 32. El 1, 4, el 3 y el 4. Then. I'm from page 35, exercises 1 and 2. Okay, bye bye for a year. See you next class.